Well, hey, 12 Stone, welcome to Family Devotion tonight. I'm Seth. I'm uh, over here at the Brazelton campus. I'm the worship pastor here. And tonight I want, I want to talk to you about uh, one of the songs that we do here, and I want to worship, uh, worship the Lord through that song with you. Um, but I want to talk about it for just a second because it's something that's been really significant to me um, just in my spiritual growth uh, during this, these, this last season. And it, it concerns the kingdom of God. The song's called Your Kingdom. And uh, Jesus talked a lot about his kingdom. He talked, uh, he said, my kingdom's not of this world. He compared the kingdom of God to all types of things and told stories to try to, uh, to demonstrate the characteristics of the kingdom of God. And, uh, and, and one of the things that he said really often was that the kingdom of God was near or the kingdom of God was among them. Uh, among his people or his disciples. And I want to read to you just one of those instances from uh, Luke 17. This s- small little story happens where it says, Once, um, this is verse 20, Luke 17, 20. Once on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. The kingdom of God is in your midst. So listen, I. I don't know what you need tonight. I know that we all have needs. And I don't know um, what you're dealing with. But maybe you need freedom from fear or anxiety tonight. Maybe you've been struggling with depression and you're trying to break those chains. Maybe you've got an addiction. Maybe, um, maybe your marriage is in trouble. Maybe you need financial rescue or, um, or anything like that. Maybe there's something that you're struggling with. And I want to encourage you tonight with this truth. If, if you are a follower of Jesus, that not only is the presence of God with you, like he is everywhere, but that the characteristics, the attributes of the kingdom of God are there with you as well, and they're accessible. The Bible says all we have to do is ask. And so I want to just encourage you to worship with me and, and, and make this a prayer and ask God, God, would you come in? Would you hear my prayer? Would you answer my prayer?
defeated only in his name. Sing that again, mercy. Mercy. Mercy made a way. Yes, you did, God. Oh, my failure defeated. Let's sing his name. Let's sing it out. Jesus. ask right now for your presence to come uh, in fullness in every living room, every car, every place of work where this is being uh, watched. Let your presence come in fullness. And God, I pray that you would encourage the hearts of your people uh, as, as you demonstrate your faithfulness, that you're, you're available, your kingdom is, is among us to meet our needs, uh, to show us the way, to grow us, and to sustain us. And uh, we give you all the praise, all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.